Dear friends, welcome to a personalized episode of Enlighten Me. Today, we will explore Xpeng's innovative land aircraft carrier, Australia's first Tesla Powerwall 3 installation, advancements in the Atlantic coast offshore wind industry, and Kamala Harris's stance on fracking and geothermal energy. Stay tuned for an insightful discussion. Xpeng is advancing personal flying vehicles with its Aero 8 land aircraft carrier. This six-wheeled electric vehicle, resembling a mix of Tesla Cybertruck and Canoe Lifestyle vehicle, features an internal combustion engine-powered range extender. It carries an air module, a personal drone aircraft, stored in the rear. The carrier, capable of all-wheel drive, uses rear-wheel steering for maneuverability and boasts a range of up to 621 miles with its 800-volt silicon carbide battery. The air module, powered by the same battery system, can autonomously take off and land, featuring a single-stick control for simplicity. It also includes safety features, like a four-parachute emergency system. Xpeng plans to demonstrate this vehicle at upcoming shows, with trial production in 2025 and full production by 2026. The air module is certified for airworthiness by the Civil Aviation Administration of Central and Southern China. Australia has installed its first Tesla Powerwall 3 in New South Wales, marking a significant milestone in solar energy adoption. Natural Solar, the country's largest home solar battery installer, managed the installation. This new battery technology offers double the storage capacity of earlier models, promising substantial savings and energy independence for homeowners. Chris Williams, chief executive officer of Natural Solar, highlighted a surge in consumer interest since the first Powerwall installation in 2016, with installations currently at about 80 Tesla batteries per week. He expects further growth with the Powerwall 3, predicting up to 40% growth in the next year. Greg Spencer, the homeowner, anticipates significant savings and energy security with the new system. The Powerwall 3, with a 10-year warranty and 13.5 kilowatt hours capacity, is designed to handle high energy consumption and can be integrated with existing solar systems. Let's now switch to the environmental benefits of offshore wind. The Atlantic Coast offshore wind industry has seen a quiet summer despite significant developments. In New England, the 704 megawatt revolution. Wind project completed its first turbine without opposition. Similarly, Maryland received approval for a two gigawatt offshore wind farm. This marks a shift in the energy landscape turning import-dependent states into energy powerhouses. The Maryland project, managed by U.S. Wind, will feature up to 114 turbines and other infrastructure, supported by substantial financial backing. The project's approval comes after years of persistence and strategic financial moves. The political environment has also become more favorable. While the Obama administration faced challenges, the Trump era inadvertently streamlined the approval process. As a result, projects now include measures to mitigate opposition, such as environmental protections. In New England, momentum has returned with multiple projects under construction, signaling a robust future for offshore wind. Kamala Harris's stance on fracking has sparked debate, revealing her support for it despite its controversial nature. Fracking, or hydraulic fracturing, is used to extract oil and gas from shale formations, but also holds potential for geothermal energy development. Initially developed with input from geothermal researchers, fracking became prominent in the 2000s due to relaxed regulations. Geothermal energy could vastly expand using enhanced geothermal systems, EGS, which create artificial geothermal reservoirs. A new non-toxic fluid combining water and polyallylamine offers a more efficient, eco-friendly fracking method. The Department of Energy's Forge facility in Utah is advancing EGS technology. 
Harris's position aligns with the Biden administration's diverse energy strategy, balancing fracking's economic benefits with clean energy goals. This approach maintains support in swing states like Ohio and Pennsylvania, crucial for regional economic stability and energy innovation. We explored Xpeng's innovative AeroHT vehicle, Australia's first Tesla Powerwall 3, and advancements in the Atlantic Coast offshore wind industry, along with Kamala Harris's stance on fracking for geothermal energy. Stay tuned for more updates. Dear friends, 